Hey everybody, we're at Stills and Dills. Tonight our guest is Elizabeth K. She's right, let me get make sure I got it pointing right down there, right down there, beautiful lady. She's bringing us some beautiful stuff. Um, I'm sure most of us who's come to Stills and Dills knows the way around, but just for those that have not been here, we've got our beautiful Kathy right down here who will be taking um, information, taking your details, if you are not registered with Stills and Dills. And along the way throughout our stream tonight, somebody will be, if it's not Kathy doing it, putting the Stills and Dills email address out there so you can register. Okay, first off, I'd like to say um, thank you, Elizabeth, for being here. And thank you, Cindy, for hosting this wonderful show. And thank you, Kathy, for doing all that beautiful paperwork. <laughs> <Okay. Don't stop. laughs> and we, and um, you know how we do our bidding, um, one to 50, it's $1 increments. After 50, it's $5. Now shipping, um, I'm not sure how you're going to do that, Elizabeth. Are you going to? How? Well, I'm, I'll do five dollars, um, and then if it costs any more to ship, then than that, then I will uh, charge more. Okay, so it's five dollars shipping, and if it costs any more past five dollars with the weight of shipping, um, you'll be charged actual shipping. Anything else? Did I miss anything else, Cindy? Will you do international shipping? Well, I haven't shipped anything internationally in a long time, but if one of you ladies can show me oh, <laughs> what to do. Do you use um, pirate ship? No, I just ship through PayPal at this point. Okay. Okay. Well, PayPal has their own international method and it's pretty simple. It'll actually walk you through it. When you put in the address, it will automatically populate the information that it needs for you and you just fill it in. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. At this time, Elizabeth, is there anything else you would like to inform our buyers out there with and just our beautiful audience? <laughs> I wanted to say hello and thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. And I want to say thank you to Cindy and Gianna and Kathy. Um, this means a lot to me. Um, let's see. So I will be selling vintage jewelry, some more contemporary jewelry, just a few pieces. Um, all, uh, I have handmade jewelry that I've made and I have kind of upcycled uh, vintage jewelry into new pieces. Um, and I've got some purses and I have some lots. Um, so, uh, I don't know, let me know what you want to see if you're not seeing what you want to see. Okay, she got some amazing lots, guys. For those of you who watched her preview video last night, if you saw something on that that interests you and she does not bring it out, just let us know and we'll get her to bring it out. And last thing before we get started, if you have a question, please capitalize it in the chat so that somebody uh, catches it quicker and we will get you an answer. And you are good to go anytime. Okay, awesome. Um, I think I'll start with a choice of starting at $5. Um, hopefully I'll be able to see all these. These are um, glass, glass necklaces. Um, nope, can't see that one. <laughs> I'll have to fix it. Takes you a few to get used to where your camera is. Yeah, let's try out here. 
Okay, so um, $5 start choice. Um, this one is blacks. It's got um, black bugle beads and black seed beads as well as um, black glass beads from India. Um, the next one has um, colored glass beads from India and it's got um, it's got a uh, heishi, heishi um, in between the beads. And I, I'm not sure what material the heishi is made out of. It was from a necklace that I had. Um, the next one is um, sort of browns and gray tones. And it also has that blue heishi. Um, it's got a, you know, a bigger uh, glass bead in the center. Um, and then the final one in this batch is um, more whites with a little bit of dusty purple, basically, in it. Um, and that one also has the heishi in between. Um, and these these two um, have metal beads. They are silver plated um, plastic. So they're very lightweight. So. All right, some beautiful glass beads there, guys. Some African beads multiple colors and that um is a very good deal for any kind of beads, any kind of the, glass beads. yeah the Definitely. white one is 19 inches the tan one is 20 inches the blue and green one is 20 inches and um the black one is 18 inches and these have just uh, base metal clasps on them. Most of my stuff has um, has sterling, but these don't. Anybody interested? Okay, five dollars for choice of starting bid is five dollars. What a bargain! Very pretty. I believe that. She made all of these too. And even if you don't like her design, which I think they're all very attractive, you can always uh, rework it your own way. But a lot of really nice beads in there. Hey, jewelry, etc. How are you? Yeah, I definitely made them myself. And I don't mind if you take them apart. <laughs> I take apart jewelry all the time. <laughs> You must have gotten a really good deal on those. You got Kathy in at five because those African beads are not cheap. Oh, these ones are Indian. Mm. India. I'm sorry. I thought you said Africa. Okay, so India beads. Gotcha. <laughs> I have I have some African beads. God, how did I hear Africa? We got Kathy in at five looking for six. Even so, glass beads, period. Not cheap. Okay, we are going to go one time at five to Miss Kathy. Still looking for six dollars. This is choice of you get to choose. So we'll go one time at five. I really do like those uh, blue ones. Let's go two times at five. Okay, I'm going to go through this one very quickly, seeing how Kathy is the only one bidding, but at any point I start going too fast, tell me to slow down, try to keep up with the speed of the chat. All right, let's call it sold at $5 to Miss Kathy. Kathy, you get to choose. First set, please, and the black. Uh, oh, blue and black. So you want you want this one and this one. Okay. And All you right, gorgeous. One? You want the white one too? 
I think she meant that the first set, the black and the blue. Okay. Is that what you wanted, Kathy, right? The first two? Oh, we'll go with that. Oh, right. just the first just the first one, just the black black, black and blue, I guess. Oh, I thought I saw oh. it. Oh, just the first one. Yeah, okay. it does have other subtle, subtle colors in it. <laughs> All righty. So thank you so much, Miss Kathy. Congratulations. And we will move on then. Great purchase. Thank you. Did anybody else want uh, want one for $5? Okay, if anybody else in the chat would like one for $5, just let us know. Going from the blue back towards her, we're going to call them one, two, and three. Hey, Miss Autumn, how are you? Um, Patty, pause once number three, please. That would be the clear one closest to you. She says, can I get the other three, please? Okay, absolutely. Oh, the other Patty. Three. Okay, yep, you got it, Patty. Well, thank you, G, for setting me straight. You know I'm half blind, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> What's at number three? <laughs> we've got the blind leading the blind most of the time, so we're pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it all worked out for us somehow. Somehow we still get through it. Imagine that. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> okay, let me get rid of this pad of paper that's in my way. Um, let's see. Should we look at rings next? Why not? Go for it. We can do that. Let's see. Put them over here. Um, so... The first ring I'll show is um, is a glass a glass ring, <laughs> um, and it is in shades of gold and copper and blue and green, and that's what it looks like. And I'll get the size for you. Uh, let's see. That little wood device is a handy little device for showing them, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a, I would say it's a seven. So um, right at the bottom of your ring, yeah, it's a seven. Yeah. Um, so we've got that one. Um, let's do a choice of with these ones, um, with a couple of them anyways. And then this other one that I bought from lovely, lovely Devin, but it doesn't fit. Um, and this one is brass. It's like a white brass and um, amethyst. And it's got repose flowers here. So it's just beautiful. And it is um, adjustable. It's got a split in the shank in the back there uh, and i'll tell you what size it is currently what's your starting bid um let's let's do six dollars for these two okay for choice or for the two of them uh choice and this one is This one comes down to about nine and three quarters. Go to the back of the band. That's where you want to size it from the back of the band. Okay. We got Miss Mary in at six looking for seven. There you go. Yeah. So it looks like about nine and a half maybe. Yeah. And six and three quarters. Sure. Alrighty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we got Miss Marion at six. This is choice of. You can pick the art glass or dichroic glass, whatever you want to call it, whatever flops your skirt on that one. And then the white grass with um, amethyst, I believe she said, as an amethyst cab. That's a very pretty ring. So we got Miss Marion at six. We are looking for seven. We are going to go one time at six. And I believe you had a bracelet last night that was very close to that ring, didn't you? The glass bracelet? Let's oh, go. Yeah, I do, I do, I do. It's in one of the locks. Yeah, it's very close to that. So if you buy that ring, you're going to have to get that lot too to get the matching bracelet, right? <laughs> Let's go two times at $6 to Miss Mary. I think Mary already licked it last night to lay claim. She's licked a lot. <laughs> That's right. I forgot. <laughs> and I, I'm licking this to lay claim to it. Fair warning. And let's call it sold to Miss Mary at $6. Mary, which one do, would you like? White brass adjustable, please. Okay. And is anybody interested in the glass one? Yes, let us know if you want the glass one. You can go ahead and move on, and I'll let you know if anybody claims the glass one. Perfect. Okay. So now I've got, um, got a couple of other rings so um gosh i think let's see this one is uh <clears throat> it's a poison ring and it is um green adventuring um, and it opens up and you can but whatever you want in there, <laughs> maybe some Advil. Um, and this one is Sterling. And I got this from uh, Tiffany. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't sit right on my hand, but it's, it's a beautiful ring. It's got a uh, beading around it, around the base and a split shank. Um, and then this one, is an, a, a vintage, sorry, hopefully it'll focus, a vintage um, enamel ring at, on brass. Uh, so it's got that sort of Tiffany blue. Um, let me give you the sizes. What's your starting bid? Oh, let's do 20. So 20 for choice of? Yeah, 20 for choice of. Um, this one is, it's. This is the one you said was your aunt or your grandmother's? Yeah, it was my aunt's. Yeah. So a lot of the things that I have for sale today came from her. Okay. So we have Roberta in at 20, looking for 21. Oh, I can only guess which one you want, Roberta. <laughs> and the this this one's a six and a half. <laughs> All right, awesome deal for that um, poison rings out there. You'll have to come in at twenty one, shop girl. We have Roberta in at twenty. Beautiful piece of adventure ring, very very nice ring. And that enamel one is pretty old. We got Shop Girl in at 21. We are looking for 22. Again, this is choice of. You got the vintage brass, you said, or the sterling silver poison ring? Yes. Okay, we got Roberta in at 23, looking for 24. Yeah, I knew she would be on that one, Mary. <laughs> she do like the poison rings. 
Um, I believe she said six and a half on the, which one was six and a half? The poison ring. The poison ring is a six and a half and the other one is what? Hi, Doug. Uh, let's see. I have a short memory. It is <laughs> eight and three quarters. <laughs> eight and three quarters. Did you just up an earring, Doug? Oh, no, Doug. Been there, done that. I, I chopped up an opal earring once. Golden opal in the garbage disposal. Yeah, that was not good. All right. We are at 23 to Miss Roberta. We're going one time. Let me know if you were out, shop girl, before I count it down completely. We're at one time to Roberta at 23. Yeah, that would be a pretty bulky for the pinky. Not in the movies. <laughs> I, yeah. yeah, that's true. I just <laughs> love this one I'm wearing, but I realized today I kept thinking, where am I getting those sores from? And I realized it's the ring. The point on the ring keeps poking me in the finger. I was actually stabbing little holes in my finger. Okay, um, shop girl is out, so we are going two times. You just have to outbid her to get it, shop girl. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, let's go. Fair warning, we are at 23 to Roberta. That is a very nice shade of adventuring. I love that deep green like that. Okay, let's call it sold at 23 to Miss Roberta. Should I even ask which one you want? Watch her mess with me and say she wants the blue one. Oh, Otis, you were a second too late. I am so sorry, Otis. I will slow down a little bit. Okay. So, Roberta, you want the poison ring? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, you haven't missed a whole lot, um, Aaron. I'll slow down a little. Sorry about that, Otis. You were, came in just a few seconds too late. Um, and Marianne was in, I think. Um, does she want? Yes, Marianne, that leaves the blue one. I think she was also after the poison ring. And then if she doesn't want that, if that's the one you wanted, Otis. Let me know. Yeah. No problem. Well, that one is available. The blue enamel with brass vintage ring is available at 23 if anybody wants that one. All righty, let's move on. Okay. Okay, we'll slow it down a bit, guys. Okay. So this is a really neat uh, sterling silver ring. Um, the kind of aqua green colored material that's in the that's the feature is shagreen and that is like stingray skin so it's a it's a leather but it's really really tough um and it's bumpy and it's kind of sparkly and it's just interesting um and is what the ring looks like all the way around. Um, you said it's actually one, stingray skin? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. This, okay. Yeah. See why I had to buy it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the brand on this one is Agatha Paris. I, I don't hear that very often. Um, in our jewelry community, but um, but it is a brand. It's a nice brand. Yeah, we looked up uh, one of her very simple rings started at a hundred. So that that is a very good brand. And I'm thinking you're not going to find a whole lot of stingray skin <laughs> rings. Where are so we starting it? This is six and three quarters, and let's go ahead and start it at um, 35. Ooh, I'm glad that one don't fit me. 
Okay, we are at 35 on this ring. Starting bid. This is sterling silver, size six and half or six and three quarters. Six My brain three. left already. <laughs> six and three quarters. Very unusual. I have never heard of that before. We have Miss Mary in at 35, looking for 36. Have you ever seen that, G? No. It is uh, Sterling Silver. Yeah, very, very unusual. It's a leather made from shark skin, apparently, and it is Sterling Silver base metal. We have Miss Sosie in at 38, looking for 39. Hey, Patty, how are you? That's really cool, though. Really, really cool. That I paid totally a lot more for it. Than that. I share. <laughs> um, let's see. I can't get it all the way on this. We got there. one of the Hawaii ones you were talking about. You bought in Hawaii. We are looking for thirty nine. We have Miss Sosie in at thirty eight. No, this one I got in Las Vegas. Um, I think when I got married. Okay, you're. Oh, I got married in Las Vegas too, and you're liable to find anything in Las Vegas. I got married in Las Vegas too. Oh, Did you really? Yep. Three out of and four. And they say they don't good. last. Thirty years later, and I got married in Vegas, same chapel as Elvis. As a matter of fact, we got Marion at thirty-nine. So she's back at forty-two. I was little chapel of the of the flowers. Oh, ours was Wheat Kirk O'Heather. <laughs> silver bells or silver something, I don't remember. Uh, their claim to fame was Elvis and Priscilla got married there. All right, we're at 42 to Sosi, and Mary is out, so we're going to get one time 42 to Miss Sosi. Hey, Miss Sharon, how are you? You used to have a stingray purse. Ouch for the stingray. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see the cartouche in there where it says Agatha, but um, that's. I see that. that is yeah, that. I looked that up last night. I was, uh, that was a new brand to me, but they, they're quite pricey. We are going two times at 42 to Miss Sosie. You, next time she gets married, she'll do it in Las Vegas. So it, maybe it'll stick, right? <laughs> We've all been married a long time. <laughs> and let's go. Fair warning, guys. Fair warning. Time to get in is now. Very interesting. And let's call it sold at 42 to Miss Sosie. Thank you, Sosie. Hey, thanks, Sosie. I bet that's a new one to your collection, Sosie. Or do you have a um, stingray skin ring already? <laughs> Would not surprise me. Yeah, I've touched the live one before. Okay, got that in the bag. Um, let's see. I, I have, actually have a, an aquarium and a um, water park like five minutes up the road from me here in Virginia Beach. Nice. Oh, Michelle got married in uh, Vegas too. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so this is my last ring, at least for now. Um, Ooh, this pretty. guy is sterling and it's got circle and square bezels and they are i remember that ring for some reason yeah they're filled with red and pink and purple and uh turquoise and green um enamel we were discussing whether this was stone, but I really don't think it is. I tested it with the diamond tester and it only went up to five for all of them, um, which is what glass would come up as. So let's go ahead and start this one at um, 30 and mm -hmm. then I will get you size. 
Okay, starting bid 30. I love this style of ring. I've seen this one before, though. Did you buy that from somebody on YouTube, or did you find it elsewhere? No, I, I think I bought it at Claire's <laughs> a long, long time ago. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, it's been a while though, since they sold Sterling. Hi, Late Night. Welcome. Um, so this one is basically seven and three quarters. So it's a little bit bigger than... So it's possibly stainless steel because Claire's does sell stainless steel jewelry. Maybe. Let me see. Um, I think it's marked. Yeah, it's got a it's got a mark in there. I don't know if we can if we can see it. Nine two five. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, you never know with Claire's. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, no. yeah. Well, this, they, this was they don't have a decade. lot of sterling silver. There, it's very limited there. When they do have sterling pieces, I've only seen it a few times there. That's not something they stock a lot of. And I heard Claire's was going to go out of business. Yeah, I heard that too. Um, they've already taken it out of my favorite mall in West Valley. Yeah, I don't know if we still have one here either. I haven't been to the mall since the COVID started. It was just before that they were talking about closing. So we are looking for $30 on this sterling silver ring. It is marked 925 and it is multiple colors of enamel. Beautiful colors though. Yeah, I do like the colors. It does look very familiar to me for some reason. I think you had yeah, like, something like this. Yeah, I do remember when they had it back in the day, Aaron, but not so much anymore. All righty. If nobody is interested, we will move on. If you do decide you are interested in that ring, just holler. Say, hey, I want that Claire's ring for $30. I do know that Claire's kept their um, piercing stuff with 10 carat and sterling. Yes, yes. Uh, they may, I think they still do that, don't they? I think so. Okay, so I mean, it should break something, but I guess that just. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they were always in the to register jewelry, etc. You're right. Um, okay, so this is unusual, and I did not show it um, last night. It is a belt buckle, and it is made in India. Uh, it's, it's a partridge. Glass. Yep, partridge in a pear tree. Oh, so it's the perfect oh, season no. for it. And okay, um, where let's, start? let's start it at 12. All right. It's so, normal. Hey, Miss Sandy, how are you? So there you go. You got the first day of Christmas. My true love gave to me. And you can first see it the there. India L202. We got Miss Marion at 12, and that'll take a pretty nice size belt. Too. I like that. Yeah, I can, uh, yeah, it is very interesting piece, isn't it? The very good for the holidays and all through the winter and the fall, even. Yeah, so it's uh, the space for the belt is about one and three quarters inches. David. David yeah, Cassidy. we were talking about David Cassidy last night. <laughs> oh, yeah, with the puka shells. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's haunting me lately. Three days in a row. David Cassidy for me. Well, Pennsylvania no Dutch. Yeah. Smell it. Okay, let's go one time at 12 to Miss Mary. You still got time to get your bid in there. We are looking for 13 right now.
All righty, let's go twice to Miss Mary. Okay, we'll give it a fair warning. All righty, let's call it sold to Miss Mary at $12. Thanks, thank Mary. you, Miss Mary. Congrats. And thank everybody for your bid so far. We really appreciate the support. Okay, so we'll, oh, we do this one. we'll do this one for $5. Speaking of David Cassidy. <laughs> 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 it's just yeah, uh, do, you guys, do you Kathy and Gianna do you remember that I was watching some YouTube videos with my husband about 70s and 80s fads and one of the fads they brought up were puka shells David Cassidy actually started that fad <laughs> if, you, if you can believe it or not yeah. he wore that big big huge set of um Puka shells. I never noticed it at the time, but yeah, they showed him in every scene. He's wearing those puka shells. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. And this set, <laughs> these shells are purple. Um, and I made a pendant to hang on it. It can be easily taken off and put on something else or whatever whatever you want to do <laughs> um this is that one of those tiny oysters there yeah it's um i i think it's spiny oyster um but i can't guarantee it um and it's hanging in a upcycled <laughs> necklace <laughs> so it's upcycled 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 um, the spiny oyster was upcycled from a necklace as well. If anybody thinks they know better on what that is, um, feel free to speak up. Sandy. <laughs> okay. So is the purple the wampum shell, um, Gianna? I can't tell. I, I don't think it is. I don't think so from what I've seen, but. No, it's probably just one of those pretty purple shells down by the seashore. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Mary. <yeah. laughs> you keep making me think of songs. All right. We are looking for $5 on starting bid on the puka shells. And this one is which are actually coming back in 15 inches, I believe she said. Now, is that Jamie sitting there doing that? She's trying to make it look like, like not old enough to know who David Cassidy is. I know that's right. <laughs> Now, Devin, I could believe, would not know that, but Miss Mama, we know you know. <laughs> oh, yes. Leaf Garrett was a hunk when he was younger. Yes, he was. <laughs> yes, he was. Yes, Devin, look up the um, Partridge family. Is that Devin or Jamie coming in as Moonstone Mamas? Yeah, look up the Partridge family. Very cute. He was all of our teenage crush. Okay, if there's no interest, we will move on. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so <laughs> next, um, I thought I would do a tin. All right, let's do it. Ooh, Ooh. Jewelry. And I will start by showing you some of the things that are in it. Um, this is sterling silver and shell um, bracelet. I bought it at an art fair quite some time ago. Um, and this is what it looks like on the back. Um, 
and it yeah. it cost fifty two dollars when I got it, so it wasn't yeah, cheap. It actually does look like real shell. Mm -hmm. This one, that Zapata, looks like a it's a either a very thin layer of it that they put on one of those black blanks, or it's a acrylic like a photograph of it. But that is what they call a sundial, apparently. <laughs> yeah, it's really pretty. Um, let's see. Uh, pink and ruby red cha-cha bracelet. Stretch. Where are we starting at? Oh, uh, let's start this at... Uh, let's start this at 25. And I'll just keep going through. So that it's worth the 25 and then um here we've got a brass and turquoise bangle from India which I think is quite pretty um but not not in the same way as southwest or native american jewelry is um so there's that We've got um, Miss Lori in at 25, looking for 26. Got this stretchy, and it's it's an agate. It's blue, so I assume it's dyed. It's got a lot of good stretch. I got this at a, a bead show. Um, so. That sounds fun, right? <laughs> Let's <laughs> put that on with your cha-cha bracelet. <laughs> you get kicked out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> My husband would kick me out of bed if I forgot to take that off. He always makes me get up and take off my jewelry when it starts clanking at night. Oh. Um, this looks like liquid silver. Um, it is not. Um, but it's cute. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I tested it and it didn't come up as silver and these beads are magnetic, but it, it is a pretty little bracelet. So, so, so far that is five bracelets. Um, these two bangles are clampers. Those are ones I got in Hawaii. Um, you know, they're just tourist stuff, but they're beautiful with the soft enamel in there. It's not the glass enamel. Um, and this, the black one, I can see it's black. Um, has some cutouts in it so it's um so it's pretty hopefully you can see that oh my gosh okay we got aaron in at 26 looking for 27. Oh, myself. okay and the purple one here's a spin around the purple one okay looking for 27. okay I don't think this is the one that Mary licked, so you're safe. Um, <laughs> we're in <laughs> we're in, we're in <laughs> oh my God. So this is a costume yeah, ring with That's five, cute. I don't know, four faux diamonds. Um, <laughs> that looks and, like a um, Leah Sophia. I had a Leah Sophia like that. Um, we are looking for 28. Yeah, and this one is six and three quarters. Very cute ring. Let's see, here's another cute ring. Um, and by the way, that, that's not sterling. Neither is this one. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's got the kind of S, S shape to it. And it is also six and three quarters. That's a cute ring. I like that. Looking for 28. 
Let me know if you are still in, Aaron. We are at 27 to Miss Lori, looking for 28. This is a lot, guys. You get it all. You get the tin and all the jewelry. Oh. And these are super costume rings, but I think they're beautiful. <laughs> uh, one, one with black rhinestones and one with blue rhinestones. Okay, we got Miss Erin back at 28, looking for 29. Don't and forget then, that one bracelet in there, that sterling silver bracelet. She that is she paid $52 for a long time ago, so I'm sure it's worth more than that now. Yeah, and these are adjustable. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. This ring is a little no it's a it's a little over a size six um and it is just beautiful i think it's got um white enamel and it's butterflies and flowers and you know cubic zirconias and uh faux pearls on there Okay, we are looking for 29. Let me know if you're still in, Lori. Okay, Miss Lori is out, so we are going to go one time, but we'll let her show a little more before we count her down completely. Yeah, let's show more. Um, do I have anything? No? Okay, I'll show this. This bangle bracelet has this pretty uh, pink and peach and green floral motif on it. So if you if you are interested in bangle bracelets, this is a- I sure nice. can, late night, thank you. So um, let's see. Next, um, we have this, this ring, it's about a size eight and it is plastic um but it's sparkly and beautiful are you talking about the stills and deals email or my personal email late night all right let's go two times at 28 we are still looking for 29 on this lot it's a lot of jewelry for 28 dollars and i'll just Pull the rest of it out, um, so you can is that, see. Uh, is that bone on that necklace you just pulled out? No, it's not. It's plastic. Okay. Okay. Which deals and deals. Okay. Which is preferable to some people. <laughs> yeah, some people don't care for the bone. That's right. I've got this uh, stretchy bracelet. Ro has one like it. <laughs> Mm. And I've got in here silver tone um, stretchy bracelet. Um, I have a one of these chains. <laughs> um, it was sold to me as. Um, silver however only the clasp tests the silver but it's a it's a really nice necklace it's in good shape all right thank you late night no problem okay aaron if you haven't sent your information to stills and deals email yet would you do that for kathy so she can put it in the spreadsheet we're going to go fair warning at 28 to aaron oh cute that has to be like 90s when the mustache things were out oh yeah. my god yes that was such a craze wasn't it yes so this one's a mood ring <laughs> and a few years ago too Oh, you have Aaron's? Okay, she's got you already, Aaron. And then this is a stretch um, faux turquoise 
Right. Okay, so last chance here. I'm about to call this one. Let's call this one sold at 28 to Miss Erin. Thank you, Erin. Thanks, Erin. Get all this stuff back in there. It would be my guess. She, she paid more for those uh, bracelets from Hawaii, too. So good deal on that one. <laughs> yeah, you got a good deal. <laughs> Get who got what? <laughs> who got what box? Um, do you, did you guys want to do another lot? Why not? I think Mary's waiting on that the other one. I think that's the one she gave a virtual lick. Okay, and that was that was the the bigger one, I think. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so. Here is the bigger tin. Um, <laughs> what happens at the auction stays at the auction. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Lee. That is right. <laughs> so in here we've got. Um, I'll move this back. This is a brooch. It's gold with, you know, rhinestones, and it is. A brand name, which is Vendome. Um, and Cindy told me yesterday that that is like higher end Coro. Yep, that's what it is. It's a high end um, division of Coro. So let's start this box at 50. Um, here's the glass bangle that uh, Cindy was mentioning. It's really pretty. It's got greens and blues and reds and gold and white, black. That's always a good thing, Sharon. I love those glass bracelets and they're a little more durable than you would think. Okay, and this this necklace is coral and onyx. Um, I don't know if you can. This one has a lot of really great pieces in it, guys. Uh, here. Okay, there. You can see it. <laughs> so it's got basically the three stations of coral and the rest of it is on it. Beautiful. You're looking at your $50 in those three pieces there. Yeah. Uh, next, I'll try to go fast so we can get through We've got Miss Marion at 50. We are looking for 55. Okay. And this brooch is marked M. Gent. Um, and that's what it looks like. It's Brush gold, and I think it's pretty. Um, so there we go with that. Vintage brand too. Yeah. Okay, and this is this one's fun. It's a Sarah Coventry necklace. Um, it is it has the courting couple on it, um, and it's it's a it's a perfume locket still has the perfume in it. It doesn't smell strong because um, I wouldn't be able to handle it if it was strong smelling. Um, and it's got, you know, a gold tone chain. And it's got the... Looks like it's in really good. got her mark there. And looked over on the back, there's a chest piece. Very nice condition on that piece. You could always get rid of the perfume if it makes you 
ill, but um, if you're a reseller, you probably want to leave it. Today, we're looking for 55 on this. Okay, so this is a brooch. Um, and I, it's Gorgeous. in really good shape, sort of amber and yellows, um, you know, it's glass. Um, and here's the back. So you can see. Um, it's sort of a, I don't know, leaves and berry pattern. I'm not sure. <laughs> But anyways, this is this is vintage. Yeah, there's some oh, real things in there, Martha, for sure. Um, let's see. Here is a what I think is a leaf band. Um, <laughs> what I think is a leaf band uh, necklace, um, and we think it looks like a turkey but much prettier because it's pastel <laughs> the chain or the the beads are lightweight um and they're in kind of a, a light tangerine color okay let's see so this is another fun vintage necklace um it's got sort of off-white beads, black beads, uh, silver tone beads, and then these two-tone beads here. And um, yeah, it, it just goes over your head um, and it's fun. I don't know if you can see um, the, the plastic has sort of a bone or a marble look to it, but it is plastic. Interesting necklace. Okay, we have Miss Ottoman at 55 looking for 60. Okay, so here are three. I think there's I think there's another one. <laughs> uh three blue um blue brooches that are all vintage um let me, let me put them in here so you can see them better um we are looking for 60 let me know if you're still in mary oh, those are pretty I love that blue one in the front there so the, those are nice ones and and yes. They are. The other two look like scatter pens. Are those two the same? Um, one's larger and one's smaller. So, yeah. All right. Cute set of scatter pens. All right. Looking for 60. Okay. Let's see if I can pull anything out of here. Okay. How about this? This is a Michaela Fry Bingle. It's a vintage one. Her style now is different, but it's got this, you know, dusty pink um, kind of rose and flourishes pattern on it. And that's enameled on the inside too, right? We got Miss Mary back at 60. That's a nice bracelet. Yep. And um, I, I could hold my hands steady. You might be able to see the the name in there it's written in gold <laughs> nice. yeah, very nice okay okay we are at 60 looking for 65 okay so we've got hey, homer how are you nice to see you been a while since i've seen you hope you're doing well yeah. so here we've got four uh, brass bangles um uh, three of them have inlay, and one of them just has a etched design. And these are super lightweight. Um, one of them is much larger than the other, than the others, if uh, that's a concern for anybody. Uh, let's see. Now, okay, let's. 
Oh, everybody's got to have one of those. Those are too cool. The <laughs> rhinestone stretch bracelets. Yeah, the rhinestone stretch bracelet. Vintage. They always have the stone missing, so that's a good find. <laughs> you found one with all the stones. <laughs> um, all righty, guys, we are at 60 to Miss Mary. We're going to go one time. Let me know if you are out, Miss Autumn, and I will continue to count it down. Here's another um, necklace similar to the coral one, but it's not as nice. It's um, Oh, I think it's cool. I like that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. It's got gold tone beads it's got glass beads it's got cat's eye beads um maybe some stone and it's got uh shell beads and the black beads are um they are um seed beads let's see all right so autumn is out so let's go two times at 60 to miss mary Okay, and this is the heavy, heavy, heavy link bracelet. Also very vintage. And I can't. Yeah, I'll say that's definitely a vintage one. That would be a good <laughs> one to make that chain with, like you did some of those other pieces. Fair warning. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, let's there's a bull of a watch. Ooh, nice watch. Yeah, which I don't know whether it works or not, but I uh, assume that if you put a battery yeah, in it. I don't think they make bull of this anymore. Aren't they out of business now? Hi, Diane. Not sure. Um, and this one, oh, this is two things stuck together. This is Caravelle, and it is a the pendant watch. So you would put it on a chain or a string, and then you can see. Oh, very cool! That's awesome. At. Yeah, and you know it it ticks when I wind it up, so um, there's a good chance that it'll work. <laughs> Both of those brands are good brands on the watches. Yeah. This little uh, stick pin that is not focusing. It's got a leaf. Um, and it's got the, the cap. And that's just, um, the jeweler told me it was heavily gold plated. Um, really nice stuff in the jar. Okay, your last chance to get a bit in there, guys. We are at 60 right now, and I'm about to call this one. There is some really nice pieces in this lot. And this is a Poison Rain costume. Oh, with a... Hey, Sassy. How are you? Green and tan. All righty, let's call now this one. Sold to Miss Mary. I think Miss Mary's probably hold her breath long enough. <laughs> okay. Congrats, Miss Mary. So there's probably a couple pieces you didn't get to see there. You'll get surprised later. Yeah, there's a couple pieces left. But we did get through most of it. Oh, okay. And Citizen makes good watches still. So, yeah, if those watches are working, those watches will probably fetch you the price of those, um, of the whole tin there. The Bolivia, definitely. Here, I'll throw David Cassidy in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, might as well, right? You get David Cassidy, Mary. Yeah, and... And the glass ring to uh, with the oh the bracelet how nice now you got the set <laughs> okay let me uh, just write this down. um you don't need one but I'll give you one Miss Diane you can have one there you go but they're not a necessity but I just gave you one okay. What do you say we look at some of the jewelry that um, that came first in the 
preview. Works for me. Um, so Congrats, I'm thank you for your bids, everybody else. I'm gonna do these these three necklaces. Yeah. As a choice of starting at thirty-five dollars. Um, one, this one is made out of um, Czech crystal. It's like cathedral glass um, and other Czech beads and sterling, sterling ball beads and a sterling clasp. It's one of these that you pull out like that. And the feature of this necklace is a beautiful fur clip or dress clip. I'm not sure which. Um, it is missing one or two of its crystals, but I think that the look overall is spectacular. So, so that's one choice. That's gorgeous. That's a lot of checks glass in there. Yeah, it's definitely worth more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here, let me move the camera. This one, um, this necklace is made out of three vintage bracelets. Uh, one of them is a book chain with faux pearls. Um, this other one I think is gilt and it's got kind of a spiderweb pattern. The one on the back is um, beads with bead caps on it. Um, and the focal is a Victorian revival pendant. Um, so this it's fully usable as three necklaces and a pendant. Um, you know, you just would have to open up a couple of jump rings. Um, so, let me get the camera back on that. Um, That's a really good idea, I think. What a um, great concept. All right, so it's choice of guys on these thirty-five dollars starting bid for choice of. So that is your second choice. Yep, and here let's do the third one. It's similar to the second one. It's got this big old pendant with a stone, um, and the bracelets that is made out of. Um, this one is a gold debt. It's a Victorian revival slide bracelet and it's in great condition. This bracelet is, I believe it's Moroccan tourist bracelet and it's got scenes from Arabian Nights on it. And then the back piece is not not too old um but it is um sterling and um gold plated and it this one came from hawaii it's got turtles and it's got plumerias so the one in the back is vermeil and the other two are vintage Gold yeah. that is a really good brand. So she sets these up so you can use the bracelets separately or together. But the starting bid is 35 for choice of. And those are her creations, all of them. Beautiful pieces. We'll get to Dory here in a minute. Roberta's asking for Dory. So after okay. this, get to Dory. <laughs> yeah. So these, each of these bracelets is you know it's worth something <laughs> you know probably close to the price of the of the whole thing so you're getting a deal if you want to treat it as a lot we got um jewelry etc in at 35 looking for 36 
yeah there's sterling and at least two of these right it was the one in the middle did that one yeah the back of the this one the bracelet that is there is sterling Alrighty. And that one also has the Goldette, which is a high-end vintage brand also. Yep. Yep. And this, the Finding R Sterling, as well as the... The, the Jack's Glass. Yes. Wow. Um, I, did, I did test this for Sterling, um, and it... It seemed to come out as sterling, but it's not sterling. <laughs> so it might be plated. <laughs> yeah, that, that could be plated. All right, we are at 35, looking for 36. We are going to go one time at 35 to jewelry, etc. Still got time to get a bit in. Thank you, Miss Kathy. Uh, it looks like Kathy needs your information, um, jewelry, etc. Maybe she's bringing a fish to auction. <laughs> Let's go two times to jewelry, etc. at 35. Okay, she thinks she's registered, Kathy, so... Um, I'm not sure what you, what is your first name, Jewelry? And if you, maybe we can find it that way. She's Laura, and I know her. <laughs> Laura, okay. It, it might be under Laura, Kathy. Thank you, thank you. So let's go fair warning at 35 for choice of all good choices. I am really mesmerized by all three of those. Um, spells it L-A-U-R-A. -A. Okay, let's call this one sold. And you can tell us which, uh, which piece you want. You can have one, two, or three. Or you can have all three of them. Oh, so sorry, Pam. Please rest. I know that feeling does make it hard to concentrate when you're hurting. Okay. Alrighty. We'll figure it out. Um, she wants the middle one. This one. Okay. Awesome. Alrighty. So do you want to offer these two to anybody that may want them? Yep. <laughs> Okay, so that leaves the remaining two if anybody would like one of those at 35. You can have the Chex Glass or the um, Goldette and Sterling Bracelet on this one. Oh, uh, cool. They are pretty cool, I have to admit. They're all awesome. Very creative, definitely. Well, thanks, Laura. All right, we'll go ahead and move on. And if anybody um, decides they want one of these, we will let you know. Perfect. Okay. Hey, Carly Q. How are you? Nice to see you. Hi, Carly. I know what Carly wants to see. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Dory, is it? No, um, not Dory, but I'll get Dory out first. Bert has been obsessing over Dora the Explorer since last night. Yeah. And I'm sure some of that Monet she's eyeing too. Yeah. So well, let me get a choice out here. Okay, so this will be an interesting selection. So 
let's do choice of starting at 18 on these. And that's a really good deal. Um, this is uh, Jasper um, and glass beads. And the pendant is absolutely fantastic. It was made by an artist called um, Sarah Shriver. And it's polymer clay. Wow. I don't know if you can really see how detailed that is, but oh, yeah. that and, and is, isn't it? Wow. That is, yes. Lily's baking cookies. I didn't want anybody to hear the beeper going off, so I had to mute. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes with these uh, Jasper beads. So I want cookies, Lily. Hey, Miss Miss Anna, how are you, ladies, tonight? All that right. One, that one's twenty inches. Uh, this one is twenty inches. This is Dor Dory. <laughs> Dora. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, that is cute. No wonder Ro wants to look at it again. <laughs> you know, you know, Ro. She loves to look at it for a while, and then she lists it. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So um, all of these disc beads are artisan crafted lampwork beads that I bought from an artist on Etsy. Um, the rest of it has seed beads and um, check glass beads. Wow. Those are all expensive beads. Nice, eighteen dollars is a great price for that. And they put one of these little lumpy grape cluster kind of beads on the back too. Um, and this one has a sterling silver clasp. Wow, very nice. All right, so, and another one had a bronze clasp. Okay, Ro, there you go. We're looking for eighteen. And here's here's my third one. Did we lose Ro? Set. No, she's in there. Oh, is she? Okay. I was going to say, don't make me bid now. Okay. So this <laughs> is bell copper, vintage bell copper um, necklace. It's got the Roadrunner on it. I think it's a pretty classic, <laughs> classic Southwest necklace. Um, and it's on a copper chain. Um, However, I couldn't let it be. And I put on, I put this kind of a Tiffany blue rose on the chain, um, just because I thought it perked it up a little bit. It um, does perk it up. What is the rose acrylic or glass? It's a really interesting rose. Um, it's resin resin very cool we got kathy in at 18 mary's back at 19. better get in there ro looking for 20. and if somebody who buys this um doesn't want the rose on there i can just reattach the ne the necklace as it was but i thought it was fun so this one Got Roberta in at 20. Oh, she beat you by a hair, Kathy. We're looking for 21. So we've got Dory, we've got the polymer clay one, and we've got the Bell Copper Roadrunner. All right. And that polymer clay one also has the Jasper and glass beads and the blue one in the middle, the Dory necklace that it's been dubbed. We got Miss Kathy in at 21. Should have stuck your chin out. <laughs> High Stone Rider is in at 22. So that one is lamp work and checks glass with sterling silver findings. And then we have the Bell Copper Roadrunner, which I think is a fairly old piece. Is that an old piece, G? More likely, there is no Bell Company anymore. Okay, so that is definitely a vintage copper piece there. Can show really you nice. the mark. Um, they have yeah, several. 
That's the older mark. mark right there. Their oldest mark is the bell stamp like that. All right. So really nice piece there. So we are at 22 to Stone Rider looking for 23. All of these are fantastic choices. And what did you say the artisan name was on the, um, we got Kathy back at 23 on the polymer ball. Uh, it's Sarah Shriver. Sarah Shriver. So something amazing about all three of these necklaces. Okay, we are looking for 24. Mary is out. Right out of my mouth. <laughs> I was going to say that too, that each one looked amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all special in their own way, aren't they? Well, I'm glad you guys like them. All right, we are looking for 24. Okay, Ro, are you? Ro is out. So, Stone Rider, let me know if you are out. Right now, Kathy is holding the high bid at 23. I am so sorry. Is anybody else buffering? No. All no, right. We'll, <laughs> we'll give you time to get a bid in there, Stone Rider, if you're buffering. Just let me know whether you're out, though. If you're out, I'll go ahead and count it down. Then you'll get second choice if Kathy doesn't purchase um, all of them. Oh, thank you. Uh -oh. <laughs> no kidding. That's what my husband says I'm special, but he doesn't mean it in that way. <laughs> He means it in a writing the short bus kind of way. <laughs> My God. <laughs> he does. <laughs> My husband, I'm telling you, he's a, he is something. All righty. We are going one time. I am sorry you were buffering. I hope that you are out because I really don't want to sell them from out from under you if you are buffering. All right, let's go two times at 23. Okay, let's go fair warning. Oh, I hope she's not having trouble getting back in. I'm going to feel terrible if we sell it and she wanted to come back in. I think most of us are still on the short bus, Cindy, so you're not alone. Yep, yep, my whole life. <laughs> Definitely been uh, different and unusual. Nothing wrong with that. Let's call it sold at 23 to Kathy wants the Roadrunner. So that leaves uh, Dora and the um, artisan there. there. Thanks, Kathy. So let's see. Um, if you are still in um, Stone Rider, I don't know if you're still buffering or not. Oh, she's out. Okay, so you get um, second choice. Okay, um, the first one, the yellow one, is Jasper and Glass. Does that one have sterling findings also? Um, the findings on the polymer clay are sterling, um, but the clasp is bronze. Okay, so that one is an artisan made piece, and help me, I forgot the artist again. Uh, Sarah Shriver. She Sarah. made a polymer clay piece, which is just beautiful, if I could get it in the camera. Um, That's if gorgeous. Everybody takes this one. They'll be amazed when they look at it. <laughs> okay. So, and then the other one is checks glass and lamp work beads, like handmade lamp work beads and sterling silver findings. So, yeah, you can on those. 
So let us know if you want either one. I know Roberta does want the Dory if you don't choose it. I, um, go ahead and um, go on to the next one, and I'll let you know if Stone Rider wants either of them. If she doesn't, Roberta wants the blue. Okay. Good night, Miss Lori. Good night, Lori. Bringing this one out for Carly Q. <laughs> this is a silver clay piece that I made. Um, and it is on a rubber cord. <laughs> um, the silver clay piece is mounted on top of a kind of a light gray or off-white leather and it's riveted um, together. The bottom two rivets are made out of um, rubber and the top is made out of the wire that's made to use it, that was used to make the bale. Um, and you can see that. Um, so this is all fine silver. Um, the this is just nickel free metal, <laughs> silver doom metal at the back. Um, but it could easily be taken off of the rubber cord if that's not your thing. Um, so, anyways, I think I said let's well, start it at twenty. Hi, Mary Lou. Hi, hey, Mary Lou. Okay, so starting bid is, um, I think I answered her question. I'm not sure. Hi, Lulu, how are you, darling? Okay, um, she's buffering too bad. So go ahead and let Roberta have the blue one. Okay. She's out. All right. So starting bid is 20 on this. This is the silver clay. That's what it's called, right? Silver clay? Yeah. Hey, Agatha. How are you? Nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Oh, hi, Deb. It's Deborah Barnes on her cell phone. Oh, Deb. Okay. All so right. If nobody's interested in this, I'll put it to the side. Okay. Anybody interested in that one at all? This is the one you said um, somebody was interested in, right? Maybe they're not even there. Well, Carly um, was interested in getting an up close look. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So next. Next is this lovely set. Close your eyes, Roberta. Monet. <laughs> <laughs> Necklace and bracelet. It's gold shown. <laughs> um, I think we should start this one at 20. That's fabulous. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that, that looks like a fairly old one. All righty, we are looking for $20 on the set here. You're talking $10 a piece. That is fabulous. Hey, Mike, how are you? Beautiful pieces of Monet. Monet means money. Okay, if nobody else is coming in on this one, I'm coming in at 20, looking for 21. And, Ro, do not bid against me because I'm buying it for you. <laughs> looking for 21. You can go look through your book now and find it. She's probably sitting there oh, with that her book right now. 
So the book that I gave her, Gianna, all it did. So we're looking for 21, guys. I'm in at 20. You'll have to go 21. Um, so the book that I bought her for Chris for her birthday, right? That Monet book, all that did was make her think she has to go buy more Monet now so she can <laughs> find pieces in the book. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That's a fabulous book, though. I'm thinking about getting one for myself. She said it goes all the way from, what did you say, like 20s to um, 90s or 2000 or something? It's, it's It covers a really big time span. Yeah, she did get the dory. Okay, we are at 20, looking for 21. Let me know if... Um, Either Shop Girl or Robin want to come in at 21. Hey, Faith Robin, how are you? Weekend was great so far. I had to work today, but you know what? I'm off tomorrow and Monday, so yeehaw. Yes, Faith Robin, it is Monet. You've got a necklace and a bracelet. Up to 2001, she said, so that's awesome. Yeah, it, I, I got it. Um, okay, Shop Girl is out. I got a pretty good deal on it. I found a, um, Roberta says it's brand new, but it was listed as a, as a used book, but she said it's in brand new condition, so that's nice. You can find them sometimes around 50 um, used. All righty, let's see we are at well um roberta i mean roberta gianna i'm bidding on this one so you'll have to call this one if you don't mind miss g okay i'm here sorry i'm doing <laughs> i saw you looking down and i realized uh oh i don't think she heard me <laughs> okay we've got cindy starting it out at 20 looking for 21 Okay, Shop Girl and Roland, you both went in at 20. Well, looks like they're both out. So it looks like we are going one time to Cindy at 20. Still got a chance to get in here. I, I found a couple faith in thrift stores. It takes up forever, though, because you got to go through tons and tons of books to find them. <laughs> What are you doing, Anna? <laughs> She's picking up the slack, it looks like. <laughs> I would love to be able to find a Monet book in a thrift store. That would be awesome. I think it'll be a few years before that one ends up in a thrift store. Oh, That's that a huge book. It's very big. Wow, that was a couple of beautiful pieces there. And I guess we'll just go ahead and say sold. Didn't see any more interest to Cindy at 20. Okay, bill me and throw it in with Dora necklace for Roberta. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cindy for Roberta. Oops. Your name is Gianna. <laughs> Okay. Anna just tamed her and changed her name. From Anna to Gianna. <laughs> How are you, Miss Selena? I hope you're feeling better. Oh, uh, well, Aaron, you just let me know because we still have a lot of your grandmother's glass, too, for us to sell. So this one's a Coro necklace. It's 14 to 16 inches. It's also old um, and it's in good, really good shape. Um, let's do $12 starting on this one. Wow, that is a good price for that piece of Coro. Nice. That's probably what a 50s Coro there, that rockabilly yeah, style. I think so. Does it have a copyright? Wonder how early in the fifties it is there. I don't. I don't see one. So that is pre fifty five coro, and it is really hard to find gold tone coro in good shape. That old. 
This is at the end of the extender chain. All right. That's a really nice piece, Roberta. Unless you already have that one, that is a fabulous piece for your collection. Yeah. Nice. The Coro there. All righty. We have Roberta in at 12, looking for 13. We got Shop Girl back in at 13. I think Shop Girl likes the same stuff you like, Roberta. You got some competition, girl. <laughs> we are looking for 14. We really need to open a Ruby Lane account for those kind of pieces. <laughs> yeah, I can't keep secrets from her, Selena. She's hard to keep secrets from. She pries it out of you. Oh, yeah, gee. I could spend hours looking through the books at thrift stores and I have to, I have found some first editions in thrift stores. No, it's an actual website. Is oh, it? is it really? Okay. Yeah. You can find really awesome books in thrift stores. If you got the patience to look through them. All right. We are at, 13 we are looking for 14 let me know if you're out row i'm going to start counting it down out to marianne thank you okay let's go one time at 13 you gave up easy on that one good night aaron good night aaron give that baby a hug for me somebody was telling me yesterday that they saw the video of um marianne or marianne of zoe trying to oh you guys got to see that can i before you leave can i show them the video after the auction of my grandbaby trying to river dance <laughs> it's too funny she is really like kicking that leg out there and spinning in circles um we are going two times let's go fair warning at 13 to shop girl Shop girl, have you sent your info to Stills and Deals for Kathy? If you um, actually, I think she had me send it last time because she was having trouble getting it through. So I think I sent it, Kathy. So it might be in an email from me. And let's call it sold at thirteen to Shop Girl. And she is international. She's Canada, I believe. So if you need help with that one, just let me know, Elizabeth. Okay. Thank you. Congrats, shop girl. Thanks. Thanks. Mary. I know. I know. Okay, cool. Right after the video, I'll show that. It is too funny. Y'all have to see it. So we'll do this as a choice of starting at um, $35. This guy is, you know, Murano Glass. It's an old one, um, and it's it's beautiful. Um, and this necklace with the roses and the crystals is by the designer um, Michelle Negrin. Uh, which I don't know if it's gonna focus, but at, at any rate, um, she was a. She is an Israeli designer. I, I found a couple of pieces from um, from her like way back, but I haven't found anything recently. They yeah. were T style necklaces like that. Very nice pieces. Oh, 35. I'm sorry, guys. I put in 30. Thank you, Anna, for setting me straight. So. Um, and all of the findings and everything on this one are nickel free. Otherwise I wouldn't have gotten All right. it. <laughs> we see. are looking for 35, that Murano glass that sells pretty good. If you're a reseller, um, Roberta has sold those for like a hundred dollars on um, Etsy. 
Yeah, that's definitely a keeper, Marianne. All right, looking for 35, both of these very nice pieces, both very good for collection and really good for resale. There is still money left on these, believe it or not, on both pieces. Absolutely. Yep. Any interest at all? If not, we will move on. You need to list some of that stuff. You got some great stuff for Etsy. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so My, uh, Selena needs a wrench. Hey, son. Pantera Dime is my son, Aaron's husband. Hi, son. <laughs> a very handsome son. This is my final lot. It's in oh, there's a third one. Oh, this is the one on the cards. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this is mainly earrings, um, vintage. Everything's vintage. Um, there's some sparkly clip-ons. Um, and I can take any of them off the card if you want to see them. Um, Where are we starting it? Uh, let's start this at 25. Um, faux pearl clip-ons. And what is the brand of the deck that you put them on? <laughs> well, I'm not <laughs> vintage deck. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> kind of like canasta cards then. Yeah, they probably are. <laughs> <laughs> um, and these guys, sparkly, pretty screw back earrings. There are some nice vintage earrings in here. Yeah. These are uh, West Germany. Oh, cute. I like it. I'm actually here. Um, I'll take one off. It's kind of an ear climber. Oh, okay. So it goes up the side of the ear. Are, are they acrylic? What are the pink things made out of? Um, yeah, they're they're plastic. I, I assume they're acrylic. A lot of that West Germany stuff, as you guys know, West Germany does not really exist anymore. And a lot of that West German stuff is very creative. Um, here's some more sparkly clip-ons. Uh, these ones are beautiful. Oh, good shop girl. Uh, let's see. These are screw backs. They are a little unusual. And um, I think everything in this sort of. came from my aunt's collection. Being punky. I know you do, Selena. Yeah. Selena, you are very easy to please. And I love that about you. We got rolling in at 25. This next card is worth the whole 25 and then some rolling. So this one, um, sterling earrings and matching ring. The ring is obviously a bit worn out. <laughs> we got Grimshaw here. Yeah, yeah, it's faux Grimshaw. And the earrings have regular hooks. The, the ring looks like it could be walrus ivory or something like that. What are the earrings or what are they on? Well, yeah, they could be different. Um, they could just be not aged as much, but ivory tends to yellow over time. So that could be walrus ivory yeah. on the ring, but I don't know about the earrings. That could be too, just not aged as much. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they're, they are marked the same so one would assume that they would be made out of the same thing but that is an assumption 
Oh, cool. Faith Robin said it looks like a Whiting Davis set she has. Yeah, that's a really nice set right there. Definitely worth the the money on this box and then some. We got rolling in at 25, looking for 26. Okay. Can't get that one untangled. Um, <laughs> this is a listener clip-on earrings. And Another very listable brand. Yep, and pendant. Oh, nice. To go with it. Um, it's not on a chain, but um, everybody's got chains. <laughs> That's another nice item for Etsy if you are a reseller. Yeah. Um, and oh, nice, face. Leaf clip-on earrings. They're silver tone. I think, they're, I think those are pretty. Hey, Pat. How are you? We are at... Yeah, this is for the whole lot, Patty. It's not a choice of. It's the whole box. We're at 25 right now to Mike. We're looking for 26. Um, so this is the set. Um, I don't have a brand on it, but it's gold colored with amber colored um rhinestones uh clip on earrings and then a ring that looks like something i would have found in my grandmother's jewelry box right there that looks total vintage okay looking for 26 we are going one time at 25 to roland roland is getting a great deal on this box of earrings heck yeah um, okay, so this one is not earrings. Um, it's a ring and a pendant, and they are Sarah Coventry. We got Patty in at 26, looking for 27. Oh, we got some brand names in here too, guys. This is a fantastic box. We got rolling back in at 27. Then another pair of sparkly... Uh, screw back earrings. Patty's uh, in at 28, looking for 29. Uh, we got rolling in at 30. Miss Lily likes the screw backs I, uh, and the clip ons I discovered. Um, Patty's at, at 30, you'll have to come in at 31. Yeah, these are clip ons, they're silver tone, um, and the dome is sort of brushed. Uh, let's see. Diane, we're at 30. You'll have to come in at 31. Mike is in at 30. Okay, I'm trying to we get this one. Patty back at 32. Okay, and these are clip-ons. Silver tone. Flowers. And they're sort of diamond cut, I guess on some of the surfaces and polished on some of the surfaces okay we got rolling in at 35 i think that is really cool that um a girl lily's age hello this lily now like 12 11 12 i don't remember how old lily is but she likes vintage clip on and screw back earrings she wears them okay now this is the last set um we got Diamond in at 36, looking for 37. Got a little tangled up. So this is um, silver tone, and it's got a nice emerald green crystal. Um, these are... 11. Okay. Wow, she really grew up fast. Oh, my gosh. And you can, she's 11. Yeah, you can see, hopefully, on the rectangle... There's a kind of a design etched on there. So it's not just it's not just plain. I see that. We have Roland in at 40 and Diane is out. So let's see. I think it's oh you let me know if you're out, Patty. I'm gonna start counting it down. We are going one time to Roland at 40. Oh, 
I know, exactly. Can you believe Lily is 11 already? Mm. And she was like eight or nine when I started this, at least, well, maybe nine. No, she was eight when I started this. All right, let's go two times. I think she had just turned eight. No, yeah, she had. No, she was about to turn nine. I remember her ninth birthday. Let's go two times. We got Mary. It's already at 40, Mary. Roland is in at 40. You'll have to go 45. I mean, 41. I'm sorry. You'll have to go 41. Oh, my God, Selena, really? Dang, he was a baby. They are growing up. Well, my granddaughter is like over a year old already. She is a uh, year in September. Fair warning at 40 to Mike. I'll give you a second, Mary, but Roland right now is in at 40. Or are you telling me that you're 35, Mary? <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going to call these sold at 40. Uh, Mary, it's a lot. Sold at 40 to Roland. It's a, the whole thing is a lot. But if you're interested in clip-ons, Mary, I'll put some in your package when I send it to you. I got tons of clip-ons. Um, let's see. Did anybody see something last night that they wanted to look at? I sure can. I think if you've registered for Stills and Dales, I think we have it already, Mike. But I will proceed, but do say something if you uh, remember um, something. Kathy's wants to the bags the one you had made. Oh, okay, got it. To the roses, I need it. Um, if you're talking about the the blue rose on the Roadrunner Bell Copper piece that did sell already, Mary. Um, this is a leather bag that I had made for me by a seller on Etsy. It, I don't know if you can see it. It's burgundy. It, it opens up. It can, it can hold more or it can hold less and you can snap it. Snap it shut. Um, the lining is, um, is this cute? Oh, okay. All right, Mary. Um, and I, I chose that. I chose the the leather. Um, it has a. So Mary wants the red necklace, the one with the the um, um, Mikhail piece, the red necklace. That's the one she wants. Okay. And is this the purse you were talking about, Kathy? Or are you doing a choice of thing here? Um, I'll do a choice, but I want to make sure that that's what she wanted to look at. Okay. And Kathy wants to know how long the strap is. Okay. I'll find out. Let me put Mary's necklace in the bag okay so you got that one for the list kathy the red roses to um mary pardon me while i measure
Math, you know. <laughs> so the main part of the strap is um, twenty-four plus twelve was thirty-six inches. Um, hey, Carla, doubled over right now, but then there's also a, a drop here. Mary, that one was at 35. Nobody bid on that lot. So I think you got it at the starting bid. Yeah. Um, and the other choice here um, is this cute leather orange, orange bag. Um, it's got a snap here. It's made in Italy. Um, and it has a, it has quite a long, long strap as well. <laughs> um, and this one, um, oh, it's, it's orange in case you can't tell, <laughs> orange and brown. So they're made more like crossover purses. Yeah, yeah, they are. They are. So let's do um, let's do a choice of between these two for um, eighteen dollars starting bid. Wow, for leather bags, my goodness. <clears throat> Wowza, we got Kathy in at 18. Gianna, are you okay to call this one? I need to step out for just a second. Yeah, I'm okay to call. All right. You sure? Yeah. Okay. All righty, I'll be right back. I'm going to mute myself. Okay. We've got Kathy in at 18. Was Roland picking up with 19? Are we going to see 20, maybe 21 for choice of here? These two beautiful crossover purses. And this one is soft, and this one is um, a firm leather. All right, we got Kathy kicking in with 20, looking for 21. Hi, Pat. So we got one that's a little stiff and the other one that's a little softy. Yep. Very nice then. Yep, you got it. Roland rolled back in with his 21, looking for 22. Kathy kicked back with 22. Roland says he is out to Kathy. We are going to go one time to Kathy. At 22. Still got time to, <laughs> oops, get your bid in. Oh, my dog just keeps passing gas, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dang guy. Oh. Poor puppy. <laughs> Buddy. 
we changed his food a little bit. So, <laughs> you sure that's not Greg blaming it on the dog? Oh no, Greg's way in the back, so I can't think <laughs> about him going two times. Stinker part about it is he lays underneath my feet, so you know it like wafts upward. <laughs> Hey, Lori, sissy, how you doing? Still got time to get that bit in there, getting ready to put that, that fair warning out. There it goes, fair warning. You just never know what's going to happen on this channel, Selena. <laughs> and we're sold. <laughs> we're sold to Kathy's Choice at 22. <laughs> and we have no shame whatsoever. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, boy. I think, well, you know, he's getting older and we have to get him to eat something else. Kathy wants to got it, Kathy. Her bag. You got it. So that leaves the other one to Roland. Do you want that one, Roland? Wow, that is such a fabulous price. What a deal. It's a beautiful bag. It paid a whole lot more. <laughs> For yeah. it. Oh my God. So beautiful. And you said that's Italian leather? Yeah, it is. And it's made in Italy. And the name on it is spelled L apostrophe A R T I G I A N O. That's a good thing you took that because if you didn't, I was going to. He wants it. Lauren, um, Roland wants it. That's a, They are both excellent choices. Okay. Can't go wrong either way. Let me get his name on it. Thank you, Mike, and thank you, Kathy. Um, I like that hard leather handbags like that. Okay. Well, let's see. Congrats, both of you. Oh, fabulous, right, Pat? And what a, that's like a giveaway price. Awesome. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's do let's do this pin. Um, this is Stuart Nye, and it's sterling. It's a thistle. Um, it's vintage. Uh, they still make them. If you want to look on the website, um, and. Let's start this one at twenty dollars. Scottish love flower. It is beautiful. Okay, I'm in at twenty, so you'll have to take over on this one, G, if you're up to it. I got it. Cindy's in at twenty, looking for twenty-one. That is just it's beautiful. I've not seen one. <laughs> so Something to add to your collection, Cindy? Absolutely. You have a gorgeous collection of brooches. I know we've not seen them all. I'm getting ready to do another uh, um, video on my collection again. It's grown so much since the last time. Plus, my um, Siam collection has really grown. So I'll probably do a video on that one now, too, that I got enough to really almost do a whole video on. Oh. I've got some great pieces. Cannot wait to see them. I love when everybody does show and tell with their own personal jewelry. Yeah, I was uh, waiting until I did the research so I could. I know some of it in my head, but there are so many different goddesses that I need to write them down. So that's what I want to do. I want to do want to talk about the goddesses that are on those. I know I do miss the top five that you used to do. I know. That was a fun show. We should do that one again. 
I'd just be pulling out the same ones over and over. So <laughs> <laughs> there's so many more people in the community now that um, I'm going to do a video on them, Otis. But there's so many new people in the community since we did that that it's a good opportunity for the new people to come on and show some of the fabulous pieces they have bought and collected over the years. And Cindy's still standing at the high bid of 20. We'll give it another, what shall we do, 15 seconds. If not, we'll start counting it down. Oh, Kathy, I want some. That sounds good. Oh, that does sound good. You just made my tummy grow. Oh, really, Selena? Flower brooches. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I started off just collecting brooches in general, so I have a lot of costumes signed and unsigned, but then I started getting into collecting sterling silver brooches, so I have a ton of those. Now we're going two times. I know I can't wait to see the rest of your collections. Oh my God. So um, Carla Weissman, she sent me a bunch of brooches. So with matching earrings and stuff for my collection. And then somebody else, Ruth sent me a bunch of stuff like that. So I have just added a ton to it. Sold to Cindy for twenty dollars. Yay! I was eyeballing that one since yesterday. Yay! <coughs> awesome. Thanks, Cindy. Yeah, good. And I know it's worth more than twice that, guys. I looked that one up. Yeah, I'm trying to keep stuff affordable. So, um, this this guy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 924, <laughs> Selena. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she loves 924. I'm not sure if I have any 924 today. <laughs> 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 I have a lot of it in my own collection. <laughs> um, so this is a beautiful collar ne necklace. It's made out of mother of pearl uh, leaves, alternated and overlapped. Isn't that spectacular? And those are mother of pearl beads. Wow. Yep, they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, there is a flaw in this necklace. Uh, it's missing. It's missing a bead or two. Um, but I secured it, so there should be no problem with it falling apart unless you want to take it apart. Um, the clasp is uh, silver tone, um, and I'd like to start this one at 20. Amazing piece, guys. Wow. Oh, why am I having so much trouble getting it in the picture? There we go. <laughs> What kind of a clasp does that have? I know it's a very vintage motif, but is it, does it have a hook or a, okay, so that probably is a vintage piece. Very nice. Yeah, I'm sure. Kathy it's wants to know how long it is. Okay. I will tell you. Come on, buddy. Oh. Oh. Kathy, that is gorgeous. That will look so good on you. Uh, 16 inches. You can definitely add in a an extender on that too. You can put one in there. Got Kathy in at 20, looking for 21. And I know you're going to get into jewelry making too, so you could do all kinds of things with that, Kathy. None of us are right in the head or we wouldn't be here doing this every day until wee hours of the night, Selena. 
<laughs> no, Gianna, you can't break it apart. She's telling me. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, we have, it is for just stunning. Boy, Elizabeth, that turquoise pendant looks very beautiful on you. Yes, my friend Gianna sold it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I admired that one last night. I said, where did you get Gianna? <laughs> yep, that looks like a Gianna piece. And my friend Roberta sold this one to me. And it is a perfume holder. Has no perfume in it. Um, and... I bought this uh, Tasco piece from Blandine. It's beautiful. And she's got a turquoise ring on her finger from me. So she's wearing a piece from most of us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this turquoise is from Cindy. Um, this is a Gilson Opal inlay. And I got it a long, long time ago from a bead show. And then my engagement and wedding ring. Um, and then over here, the scarab I bought from Lydia, steals and deals. Um, and this is a ruby a <laughs> ring that I bought from Jamie. That's a nice one, wow. And this one is a gold ring that came with my aunt's stuff. Um, it didn't have a stone in it, and I had always wanted a turquoise ring, so I had turquoise set in it. It's beautiful. Is that Sleeping Beauty? That's a beautiful piece. I think that it is. Um, I think Michelle was admiring my jade bangle, so. Yeah, that's a beautiful bangle. So I got this in, in China. I bought one of those in Tucson and after I got home, it sold like immediately. So I wished I had bought more. If I get to Tucson again, I'm going to buy a bunch of those Jade bangles. They're gorgeous. All righty, guys, we are at 20 to Miss Kathy looking for 21. We are going to go one time at 20. Beautiful piece here. Okay, we got time to do a couple of more items, guys. So I'm going to kind of speed round through the rest of it so she can get out a couple of more pieces here. Oh, so my dog decided to finally move. <laughs> Fair warning. After they fogged you out. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely, Pat. You said there's a lot of jade in Singapore, too, right? You find a lot of it there. All righty, yes, I'm going to bring back a bunch of them because so many people ask for that jade bracelet, and I think Kathleen Bryant bought it, but a lot of people wanted it. All righty, let's call it sold to Miss Kathy at 20. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Kathy. Um, let's do some necklaces that I made. And we'll do did, did you keep any of the business cards from Tucson, Gianna? If they don't have it this year, I think I might still have that business card from that place. I got the Jade bracelets. I guess I could always order from them offline, too. I kept quite a few of the business cards. Yeah, so did I. Hey, Joe, how are you, honey? I was okay. about ready to step up and run outside, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor thing. <laughs> poor puppy. <laughs> okay, this is the choice of, and it's a choice of five, and we'll start it at fifteen dollars. Um, so the. These all have sterling or fine silver clasps. Um, this one has a natural howlite and um, seed beads. 
Um, and I just think it's cute. I love natural halite. I I just I don't know why they dye it because it just looks so good in the white. I like those large um, turquoise colored trade beads on there. Those are actually called trade beads among the Native Americans when they're that big. Oh, okay. Really? Okay. I did not know that. You've probably said it before and it went right in one ear and out the other. Yeah, I've said it before. <laughs> <laughs> now it will stick. <laughs> okay. And this one is 25 inches. Um, the next one is 22 inches. And the focal is a carved um, rose quartz bead. Wow. Um, the other beads are uh, the orange ones are glass. The green ones are acrylic, uh, as well as the large sparkly ones are acrylic. Um, I was told this was chrysoprase, but I'm not entirely sure that it is. But, um, and Interesting stone, nonetheless. Here's the clasp. And you said these are all sterling clasp on these? Yep. Everyone. And these are her creations, guys. Yeah. Um, and this one is 23 inches long. Um, it is made with Czech glass and amethyst. Um, I'm not sure what this pink stone is. Um, besides pretty. <laughs> and up here is amethyst and garnet. And then it continues on to garnet for the rest of the bag. Wow, nice prices. $15 for choice, Selena. Oh, well worth that price. These are some beautiful creations here. Um, and this one is 20.5 inches and it is dyed magnesite. It's not the typical turquoise color. It's more green and a couple shades of it. Um, and in between, I've got some uh, AB... I like it in the green. Yeah, That's pretty. These yeah. ones are a little bit smaller. The the seed beads are a little bit smaller than on the how light one. Okay, guys, we're looking for fifteen dollars for choice. That is fabulous. There is more than fifteen dollars worth of beads and bindings on these necklaces. You cannot go wrong here. So this, the stone is amazonite. Um, it starts kind of a light blue. Here. Where's Vanessa? There's your amazonite, Vanessa. And it kind of has an ombre effect to beige to gray to brown to uh, off-white and the other beads that are in there are shell um, and they're that pretty sort of shiny beige color and then there are um, seed beads glass seed beads very nice. Yeah, All righty, we are looking for $15 starting bid on these pieces. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a really nice piece, Selena. <laughs> Vanessa, are you asleep? <laughs> she probably is. Poor Vanessa. She, um, she just cannot stay up late. No matter how hard she tries, we've got Marion at 15. She's an early riser, early to bed. We've got Marion at 15, looking for 16. She'll she'll be sorry she missed that Amazonite though. She's uh, she really likes that stone. Okay, looking for 16. We are going one time at 15 to Miss Mary.
We got Kathy in at 16, looking for 17. Quite a combination of beads there for sure. Very nice. I like the green as one of the nicest colors of the dyed magnesite there on that necklace. Yeah, I love that. And it polishes a little bit nicer than halite. Halite just does not take a polish. And I think that's why I like it um, more natural because it just doesn't get that high polish on it. And that looks like it's got a fairly good polish on the magnesite. We got Kathy in at 16, looking for 17. Let me know if you were out, Mary. We are going to go one time at 16 to Miss Kathy. Really, Selena? So you come by it honestly. The Mary wants to know the second closest one to you again. What is in that one? This one is a rose quartz vocal. It's carved. Um, Beautiful. It's got an Asian carving look to it. Yeah. And then it's got what I was told <laughs> is um, a chrysoprase but I can't verify that for sure. So those are throughout and the other beads are glass and acrylic. Is that the one you were asking about, Mary? Okay, let's go two times at, uh, I think 16 to Miss Kathy or Mary, who was it? Kathy. Miss Kathy, okay. Yeah, Mary, it's, um yeah it's sort of a dark green stone um <laughs> a lighter green um faceted beads and a really pretty um like apricot color of the glass beads and then the pink of the rose gold well, I got some ugly, Selena. So one of these days you might find a whole box of ugly show up on your doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go fair warning. We are still looking for 17. You just like the big crazy stuff, like I, the biggest pair of earrings I ever found, I sent to Selena. All right, let's call this sold at 16 to Miss Kathy. Miss Kathy, you can choose what you want first. Okay, we'll see if she picks it or not. So the rose quartz and the one with the garnet. And garnet. Okay, looks like your pick got picked, Mary. But that does leave those three. If you have any interest in any of those three, just let us know, Mary, and we will move on. We're going to do one more item and call it a night. Okay. Let's do... When we sign off tonight, um, Elizabeth, stay on. Don't hang up when we first um, sign off, and um, we'll go over everything with you. Okay. That sounds awesome. Um, yes, you do, Selena. <laughs> I can't believe you could actually wear those. They were, what, how many inches long? Those were beyond shoulder dusters. Those were like navel dusters. They were crazy. Okay, so this will be a choice of starting at 15 again. Um, and they are necklaces. Um, this one is turquoise. And it's got little uh, Chinese crystal beads in two different shades of red and bugle beads 
um, in between and a sterling class. Oh, those look nice with the turquoise color. They look, is that turquoise hishi there too? No, that's um, bugle beads. Oh, okay, class. gotcha. That orange, they sort of coming off kind of orange. They look nice, that blue. Yeah, they are, they tend towards orange. Um, this one's 24 inches. We got Miss Anna in at 15. We are looking for 16. Okay, we've got this one, which is 21 inches. And I believe that it is carnelian and some some kind of an agate. Um, and I'm not sure whether the stone, the beads in between are stones. Uh, it kind of looks like they are. I made it a long time ago, um, <laughs> but there's a. Now these are got sterling findings again, right? You put sterling findings on most of your stuff, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, let's see. So another one that is sort of along the same lines. This is um, hematite and some sort of an agate, um, and it is 19 inches. So the little cylinders in between the squares are um, hematite, and there's hematite. I love cylinder. those make agate pieces like that. Okay, we are at 15 to Miss Anna. This is a choice of. This is the last item of the night. We are looking for 16 on this. Okay. Um, this is 21 inches, um, and it has a beautiful gold. gold um, Isn't that gorgeous? Chrysanthemums. Um, and it is porcelain. And the beads, um, we've got rhodonite in between the larger beads. Um, oh, you remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Roberta's little trick helped, didn't it? It helped me too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then these guys are, I, I think they're hematite. I mean, I think that they are, you know what I mean. <laughs> Maybe no light or magnesite. Yeah. <laughs> Dyed to look like turquoise. And these green ones are, um, I believe that they are serpentine. Um, and the colors all. Uh, so in with the, they do. With the and this is a purchased class. And it's sterling. And then I have one more. And this one I did not make. It's uh, the Betty Rubble necklace. <laughs> it is. We got Marion at 16, but isn't the color fabulous, though? And that mustard um, yellow color is coming back in this fall. You're going to see it a lot in handbags and shoes and stuff again and accessories so this one's graduated beads and it's got it's either brass or bronze spacers um, and clap on it so we get marion at 16 looking for 17 it's 17 to you miss anna yeah, so those of you who held on to your mustard colored leather handbags and stuff they're coming around again well, thank you, Miss Roberta. We Anna is out, so we are at 16 to Miss Mary going one time. We are still looking to 17. It's choice of, except for the yellow one. They all have natural stone and sterling silver findings, and the yellow one is ceramic with possibly brass or bronze, you said, findings? Yeah. Okay, let's go two times. This is the last item of the night, and it has been a fabulous auction, guys. Thank you so much for your support. I know Elizabeth really um, thanks you, too. 
Yes, I do. I'm very pleased. Fair so, warning. Thank you for showing up for me. We are at fair warning. And let's call this one sold at 16 to who was it oh my god i forgot already i am like uh mary i believe yes miss mary so you get to choose first this time miss mary so you want to spread them out there so she can see what all you have there, sure the number them or something okay number one is this Ceramic Betty Rebel. Yeah, that is just awesome. I know that is out there, but it's awesome. It's an awesome and out there. Number two is this turquoise with uh, glass beads. Uh, number three is. Thank you, Laura. Is the hematite and some kind of an agate. Pretty. Um, and then four is the, uh, I think it's carnelian and, uh, and an agate. Okay. She says the focal blue and the small beads. Okay. This so one? This one? And this one? All right, that leaves the rest of them to Anna. If you are interested in any of the rest of those pieces, Anna, let us know. What do we got left? We got the two different, the square agate beads and the square, I think it was um, carnelian and I can't remember what the green ones were. Um, it's an agate, I think. Sorry, so okay, Miss Anna is going to pass. What was that, Kathy? I didn't get which two were sold with that because we were they were laid out and they were numbered differently. So from there, we went to the two. Where's... Ah, these, these two. Those are just gorgeous. Yep. And they're in here. Uh, yep. And uh, Mary said, send one to Cindy. Oh, no, Mary. That is just way too generous, Mary. Which one do you want? You choose. Me choose. Okay. I you and Mary work that one out. And I want Mary to get what she wants first, and then because I am happy with anything. Okay. So Mary got what she wanted, I think. Uh, I'll choose this one for you, Cindy. All right, that works for me. Okay. Does anybody want uh, the others? That leaves the other two up for grabs at 16. If anybody is interested in any one of those, I like the one that she picked, so that is just fine, Mary. And that is, like, way generous of you, Miss Mary. Any interest at all in the last two? Um, I'm going to bring everybody up. If anybody decides they want, just say you want the mustard color or you want the square agates. And we will add that on for you. I'm going to bring everybody up. Hey, say hello, everybody. Hello. Everybody. <laughs> hello. Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to have to look at the calendar. I think we have one more episode of Stills and Deals on this channel, and then it will move over to my channel. It'll still be every other Sunday. Um, it'll just be on my channel to make it easier for me to manage. And um, I'm hoping to find somebody because Miss Kathy is starting um, her own business. 
and is taking some jewelry making classes and different things. So she's going to be a very busy girl. So I am looking for someone who may be interested in um, helping keep up with the spreadsheets, doing what Kathy does. If there's anyone who has interest in that, that would like to come on with us on those Saturdays when we do sales and deals, please message me. Um, if we can't find anybody, I'll have to learn to do it myself, <laughs> which I think uh, Kathy kind of went over it with me. So I think I can handle it, but Kathy is going to give us what she already has. Um, into a database for us so we don't have to start from scratch but we'll figure all that out so if you're interested in that just let me know and i think that is pretty much it if you have um, any questions for elizabeth her email is across the bottom of the screen and i don't think there's any um hi deborah is there any addresses that you need at this point i think you've got them all i think somebody sent laura's information there at the last minute too and the red roses that were going to Mary, oh. that was very confusing for me because I was you know, on something at the same time. <coughs> was that the Michelle Negra and the yeah. um, Israeli designer yeah. one? Yeah, that's, that's okay, one. beautiful. Got it. I caffeinated Christy. <laughs> I love that. That's what should be in front of mine. Caffeinated jewelry nurse. That's, uh, that's, that's how I run. Cindy runs on caffeination for sure. Well, thank you, everybody. Have yes. a great day. Anything, uh, Kathy or Gianna, that you guys want to say? Just an awesome thanks to everyone that was bidding and making this a success for Elizabeth. And um, if anyone wants help to learn how to pull out uh, the Excel workbooks together, happy to do that. So generous of you, Kathy. Miss Kathy works so hard. I am always so impressed by her. She just, wow, she takes the bull by the horns. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> She reaches over and guides it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's just so efficient. She's unbelievably efficient. Um, I don't know who you work for, but they were so lucky to have you. And I know they are missing you since you retired. And Gianna, I thank you so much for all of your help. Um, hopefully Gianna will be with us for our last episode two on this channel. And Miss Elizabeth, anything you want to say in signing off? Um, just thank you to everybody for coming. Um, thank you to everybody who bid. Thanks to the Steals and Deals crew. Um, I'll probably have um, a pop-up or two on my uh, YouTube channel to sell at least some of the rest of this stuff. So, um, so subscribe to me and click the bell and um, then you'll get notified when a pop-up goes up. Which reminds me, if you could send me a link to your channel, I could not find it. Is it under Elizabeth Cavada or how is your channel listed? So I can get a link in the description box for um, everybody tonight. Elizabeth K. Um, I sent it to you in an email last night. Oh, okay. I'll go check the link. I was looking on uh, Messenger. So I will get the link to her channel in the description box as soon as we sign off on both this video and the review last night. But um, I really would appreciate it if you go and subscribe to her and encourage her to continue on because that's that's what this is all about is getting um, new people that are kind of thinking about it but are a little scared to just give them that little nudge to get them going. So I hope, Elizabeth, that you stick with it and that you continue and work on growing your channel. And please go and support her, everybody. And thank you all. Let's say good night. He's back. Can I say one more thing? Sure, absolutely. Can I just say the work that you, you and Ro have been doing on the um, previews? Wonderful, Cindy. Oh, um, thank you. So much work and effort into that. 
It's greatly appreciated. I don't often get in there, but I always watch them. And, G, you're always here backing up, so thank you. Yes, I think yes. This is really important, and uh, it's been a delight and a privilege to be part of it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I mean, we couldn't have done any of it without you all. So, you know, it, it takes a village, like they say, and that is so true with most things in life. It does take a village. So um, I really appreciate it, guys. We are going to say good night. Remember, life is short and fleeting, so drive it like you stole it. Night all, and God bless. Um, I put my Don't link in the chat. It, yes, don't forget to thumbs up and please give us a sub and please go and sub to Elizabeth and Gianna and Kathy. I'm hoping you're going to start a channel soon too, right? I'll let you know when I do. Okay, so go ahead on over there and start. Yeah, worry, but there's not a lot of it, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she does have a lot of subs already though. So go ahead on over there and hi, Arister, how are you? Go over there and sub to her and um, support her because. Uh, very soon you may see a video pop up on her channel and you'll be ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. So I'll get a link in for Kathy too. So um, you guys can go and sub to her. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We love you all. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye.